Hello, and welcome to the New Gallery Concert Series Winter 2023 event, Begin There. My name is Sarah Bob. I'm New Gal's founding artistic director, and I have been thrilled to see so many of you in person for our last Return to Live events. In lieu of the ways of the world, New Gal has decided to keep our virtual element during Boston's winter, and we are so glad you can all join us. We hope you still plan to meet us again in person for our Begin Anywhere event on April 13th, 2023 in Pickman Hall at Laundry School of Music of Bard College. It's in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And Laundry has been a worthy partner to New Gal, and we hope you check the rest of our season out and learn more about Laundry after going to our website, www.newgalleryconcertseries.org. But tonight, Begin There hits on ideas of surrealism physical manifestation through thought alone, Escape, escapism, non sequiturs, aliens, duality, and delusion. With a sense of longing and imaginary worlds, our artists, Ola Axon, musicians, improvisers, video editors, producers, and myself have put together a sense of otherworldliness. You being there, and us in this virtual reality being where exactly? If you have bought ticket for um, tonight's January 29th, 2023 event, please make sure to stay for the live Zoom reception to start about five minutes after this short program and over um, where you can meet many of tonight's participants. The Zoom link should be included with your ticket as well as with another link to the evening's program notes. Now, sit back, enjoy, and we'll begin
Hello, my name is Ola Axon, and I'm tonight's featured artist for Begin There. I'm really excited to hear what this group of musicians has created for us here tonight in response to some of my paintings. And thank you all for joining.
Hola, my name is Angelica Negron and I'm a composer. I wrote the piece in the program titled El Colapso, The Collapse, and it is a piece that I wrote a few years ago about the moment in which um, you're so overwhelmed and so exhausted of dealing with something that you feel like you're about to collapse. Um, and and also about this kind of almost surreal feeling of seeing yourself outside of yourself, um, which happens sometimes when when I disassociate and in traumatic moments too, when something is just so overbearing that there's no other way to to deal with it. Um, and in in this song, I use a lot of domestic objects from my kitchen and from my apartment for the electronics. I really like um, taking pots and pans and their lids and hitting them with different mallets and then um, recording that and then in my computer taking out the attack and just leaving the resonance of the sound so that I create pads. So a lot of the pads that you hear in the electronic soundscape for the song come from that. And I also invited um, one of my closest friends, uh, who's a dear friend of mine since we were kids in Puerto Rico, uh, Bayoan. He plays a lot of ambient instruments um, and I invited him to play Samponia, which is pan flute, and Charango, which is a, an ambient string instrument um, in this track. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much to New Gallery Concert Series for including my music in this wonderful program and I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Ciao. Thank you. 
har hal khir Excuse me, I just needed to make sure that time was moving in the correct direction. My name is Curtis Hughes, and I am the composer of the music you are going to hear next, entitled Tulpa. And I'm also the co-director of the short movie, also called Tulpa, which accompanies the music. It's a great thrill to be a part of the New Gallery concert series this season, as I've been attending New Gal concerts regularly since the very first season more than 20 years ago, and have taken a great deal of inspiration from all that I've seen and heard in that time. I said that I'm so glad to be with you all here, but what is the here or there that we are in? The theme of tonight's concert is Begin There, and the there we find ourselves in is a strange virtual space, not unlike some of the strange and surreal spaces that are depicted in the short movie you're about to see. At least one of them existed in reality at one time, pre-pandemic, the recording studio in which this music was played. But other spaces here seem to be a little bit less grounded in reality as we know it, and there are odd portals that seem to connect these different theirs. I won't say what the meaning of any of this is, but invite you to come to your own understanding of what you are about to hear and see. If you've seen the television show Twin Peaks, you might recognize some familiar points of reference, but your interpretation will be no more or less significant than anyone else's for that recognition. Uh, a tulpa refers to a being that is brought to life purely through imaginative thought, sometimes a, a doppelganger of sorts. And Rose Hagley, star of this movie, certainly encounters one or more of them here, perhaps when a playful exploration of the multiplicity of the self turns suddenly a little scary. Every aspect of what you see in here represents a collaborative effort. Uh, my daughter, Ariana Hughes, directed some of the footage you'll see, and the amazing artist Ola Axon is represented in one amazing painting you'll be seeing. It's also a collaboration not just with the fantastic musicians you'll be hearing, but also with some you don't hear for whom the music was first written, uh, student instrumentalists at the Boston Conservatory who inspired me greatly at a time when there was a sort of a dark cloud hovering over everything. But I will say no more. I simply invite you to enjoy Tulpa.